Today we are going to look at uh, a very important experiment. It, there is a comparison of elasticity of the vulcanized rubber and the unvulcanized rubber. This is our M. So we can ask the problem segment. Is the vulcanized rubber more elastic than unvulcanized rubber? So this is our problem segment. See, meaning that we want to know whether vulcanized rubber is more elastic than unvulcanized rubber or not. So we can make a very simple uh, hypothesis. We can make like this. A vulcanized rubber is more elastic than unvulcanized rubber. Okay. So vulcanized rubber actually is an MV. Okay. Another one MV is the uh, unvulcanized rubber. So elasticity is the RV. Okay. So this is direction. So this is a very simple hypothesis we can make. Okay, vulcanized rubber is more elastic than unvulcanized rubber. You can get three marks in paper three. Variables. So we have three. Number one is a manipulated rubber. So it's a type of rubber. Okay, type type of rubber. Or you also can mention about vulcanized rubber and unvulcanized rubber as your manipulated variable. Responding variable is the elastic uh, elasticity of the rubber. So we want to find out the elasticity of the rubber. Uh, for the control variable, we can use the mass of the weight or size of the rubber strip, any one of it. Okay, any one of it. So after we look at problem segment, uh, hypothesis and the variables, okay, now we go to the apparatus. Okay, in order to get the apparatus uh, correctly, actually it's easier if we look at the diagram first. Okay, so this is the diagrams of the experiments. So we have the meter ruler, we have the uh, trap, uh, red top stand with the clamp, and then we have a clip. We have the rubber strip, whether it's vulcanized rubber strip or unvulcanized rubber. Then we have the weight. So if we know how to draw the uh, diagrams correctly, so we can uh, get the materials and the apparatus from these diagrams. So let's look at the apparatus. We need a clip, red top stem with clamp, weight, we use 50 gram of the weight, and the meter ruler. So vulcanized rub, uh, materials, we have two. There is, they are vulcanized rubber and unvulcanized rubber. So we will change it. We do for two times. So one with uh, vulcanized rubber, another one with unvulcanized rubber. Okay. So let's look at the procedure. Okay, number one, a vulcanized rubber is and a vulcanized rubber are cut into the same size, so roughly maybe uh, eight centimeter long. Okay, so using a clip, vulcanized rubber is hang on the uh, red top stand using a clip. Okay, then the length of the strip of uh, strip of the vulcanized rubber is measured and recorded. So remember, you have to measure and record it. Okay. Then a weight of 50 gram of is hang uh, hung to the strip of the vulcanized rubber. Okay, hang like this. So this one is 50 gram. Okay. So after that, the length of the strip after the stretching is measured, meaning that after you hang it, hang the weight. So we will. I use the ruler to measure the length. Okay. Then after that, you the weight is removed and the strip is measured again. Okay. Then we cut down the length. Okay. 
see whether it is returned to its original position or original length or not. After that, step 2 to step 6 are repeated using unvulcanized rubber. Okay? So we can record all the uh, information. So now we look at the tabulation of data. Okay. Tabulation of data. Okay. So initial temperature. Uh, sorry. Initial length of the vulcanized rubber and the vulcanized rubber should be the same. We add centimeter, eight point zero centimeter. So also the same. 8.0 cm. Okay, the stretch uh, means after you uh, put on the weight, okay, so let's say it, it is stretched to, uh, for unvulcanized rubber, it is stretched to um, maybe 40. Okay, but vulcanized rubber is stronger, so it can only stretch to 12.0 centimeter okay so from the uh, stretch length and the initial length we can see the increase of the length means x2 minus x1 so will be six centimeter for the unvulcanized rubber then for the vulcanized rubber it will be four centimeter okay so after you remove the weight okay so we will measure the length after the removal of the weight. Okay. For example, the uh, vulcanized rubber, unvulcanized rubber, you will return to, let's say, ten centimeter. Okay. For vulcanized rubber, you will return to its original one, eight centimeter. Okay. So meaning that difference of the length for from the before initial length and the after removal of the weight length, okay, so it will be this one of difference of 2.0 cent, uh, centimeter, okay, but this one is same as uh, same length before and after, so this one will be 0 centimeter, okay, so as the inference. The increase in the length of the vulcanized rubber is shorter than the unvulcanized rubber. This shows that the unvulcanized rubber is harder than is harder than the unvulcanized rubber. Okay. So when the weight is removed, the vulcanized rubber returns to initial length, but the unvulcanized rubber longer than the initial length. This shows that the um, uh, vulcanized rubber is more elastic than the unvulcanized rubber because it can return to its original position that is x centimeter okay so here we can make a, an observation actually is you can compare the length of the uh, rubber for both unvulcanized rubber and rubber you can mention which one will will be longer which one will be shorter as your uh, as your uh, observation okay yeah so if you want to mention about the increase of the length shorter for the vulcanized rubber mean that meaning that it is harder if you want to mention about the uh, position will go back or return to its original position you will mention about more elastic so differentiate these two don't simply use the harder or more elastic or less elastic so you have to mention you have to know what you want to mention about so both are the uh, correct observation okay correct observation okay next we are going to look at the uh, explanation okay so why actually the uh, rub vulcanized rubber is more elastic and harder compared to unvulcanized rubber so in vulcanized rubber actually they are sulfur cross links 
between the rubber molecules. So when the vulcanized rubber is stretched and then released, the sulfur crosslinks will pull the rubber, okay, rubber molecules back to their initial positions. Therefore, unvulcanized rubber is more elastic, okay. So actually, it's the sulfur crosslinks that help the uh, vulcanized rubber is more elastic, okay. Yeah. So as a conclusion. Vulcanized rubber is more elastic compared to unvulcanized rubber. So, so this is your conclusion. Okay. So if you have any uh, further questions about this uh, vulcanization, uh, elasticity, uh, elasticity of the vulcanized and unvulcanized rubber, you can leave uh, the comment. Okay, under here, under this video, and then. I'll try to answer your question. Okay, thank you.